everybody, welcome to another Pro Acoustics Tech Talk. I'm Nathan, and today we're gonna talk about how wireless speakers work. So the question comes up a lot of times, how do wireless speakers work? Uh, so today um, I have an older uh, Sonos Play 1, and basically the concept is that wireless speakers like this one work by connecting to your Wi-Fi network instead of using traditional speaker wires. So there's no amplifier, there's no mixer, no external items at all, just the speaker. Uh, basically the concept is, is that you will add the uh, wireless speaker to your Wi-Fi connection um, so that basically you can stream wirelessly over the network uh, to your device. Uh, so you would basically pair this device with your home network or if we're in a commercial environment with your office, that kind of thing, uh, network. These also will require a power connection, AC electricity. Um, that's in almost all cases. There are a couple of battery powered models for portable use out there, but the vast majority of wireless speakers are going to require an AC outlet. Um, that's because they're actually, beyond being speakers inside, is also an amplifier built in, which is essentially receiving the wireless signal, uh, turning that into wattage, and then driving the speaker inside of this, uh, inside of this device. So uh, that also means that normally these are not outdoor rated in almost all cases. Uh, that's because, um, you know, there's an amplifier inside here, which doesn't like to get wet, doesn't like to get hot, doesn't like to be exposed to uh, humidity, um, freezing cold, that kind of thing. So if you're trying to do a uh, wireless speaker system with outdoor speakers, things get a little bit more complicated. Uh, in order to get the audio into this device, you basically go into a smartphone or um, the app on a, um, on a laptop or a tablet, which basically connects to your music streaming source. Uh, could be Spotify, could be Pandora, could be any other um, you know, streaming device that's supported by the app, uh, where basically you connect wirelessly uh, from your device, sends into your Wi-Fi network, which then sends to the speaker, uh, which then amplifies the music. So many of these wireless speakers may also have an option for Bluetooth streaming from your personal device, uh, but a key difference between Bluetooth streaming and Wi-Fi streaming is that you're actually not limited to the uh, shorter Bluetooth range. Um, so basically that means that anywhere where you have Wi-Fi, you can stream to one of these speakers. So if it is a commercial environment and the speaker may be hundreds of feet away, as long as it still has Wi-Fi connection, um, you're not tethered to that shorter range, like the 15 or 20 or 30 feet that uh, Bluetooth would give you. Once the speaker receives the audio signal and plays the music, uh, you then have the option to change the song, turn up and down the volume, that kind of thing from your personal device. That means that most of the time the input sources generally are going to be the audio streaming sources. If, if, if you need something beyond just a, a streaming music platform, you need a wired input, something like that, things get a little bit more complicated, but it is possible to do with Sonos as well as some of the other platforms out there. Hopefully that helps to kind of give you some more info about how wireless speakers work. Um, if we can help with a wireless speaker solution, answer any questions, or put together a package for you, definitely feel free to reach out to us. My name's Nathan, and uh, we'll see you next time, guys.